Welcome everyone to another episode of Stud and Dud presented by the Dallas School of Music. Thank you all for listening. I'm Josh Smith. With me each week, Dr. Bob Lawrence. How you doing, Doc? Nervous. We got to get right to it. I'm I know nervous. I actually read this for once because we only got a couple minutes. I'm, I'm nervous. Late. We'll get into my traffic situation and my blunder later while I've got to leave earlier. We got we both got an argument for each side. Hey, we've got picks though coming up soon. It's 11:13. We got some draft picks coming up. We do have picks. Did you you got it on your phone? Look at you already, dude. I'm ready to go. I'm nervous. So, all right, let's get right into it. First off, uh, we, w- what's on tap today? It's that time of the year again. We've got – it's got to, got to time. We're talking – it's fantasy draft time. We're about to do it, people. I'll see you a little late. We're about to you draft here record, live on our phones. On? You got it's on. Record? It's recording, baby. All it's right. recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Doc goes off again in What's Up, Doc, and I have a little What's Up, Josh. Anyway, we'll catch up on what we've missed over the last couple of weeks. College football season started. Cannot wait to talk about that. Coveted Sutter Dud segment. We'll get to talk about a guy if he's a Hall of Famer worthy or maybe if he's not. We'll talk about okay. that. All right. Okay, got to, got to. It's it's draft time. It's almost your pick. We're going to do one quarterback, one running back, two wide receivers, one tight end, one defense, one kicker. Okay. And then also what have we've come up with, Doc, is is those starters have to play all season. We'll come up with a reserve for each one of them, a backup, but you can't play them unless the, the starter gets hurt or it's their bye week. Okay, got it. Or, or what are we doing? I'm just waiting for you. No, 21 seconds. I was looking at my. I was looking. You're 20 seconds down. So who are you thinking about drafting here first? I, I got to go with the quarterback. You're going with the quarterback, huh? I'm going with the quarterback. Well, it's just one. You got one run, one running back, one quarterback. So yeah, it's kind of like who are you going to go with? Where's my quarterback picks here, man? You got to scroll down. Oh, probably. got it, got it, man. Yep, you got them. Yeah, because see, they, they they usually put the quarterbacks a little bit further down. Okay, so, so do I say Ed? Hold on, right now. Okay. Oh, you've picked. You have now picked. I've got a minute. So who have we gone with here? I didn't see draft order. Let's go back. I didn't see who you picked. It won't show me on here on the app now. Do I add that to me? There you go. Now you've picked. Now you've picked. There we go. I was wondering, Brant, you went with who? This dud of – okay, I was wondering, I was like, who went with who? Okay, I'm picking first. You saw you saw who I picked, right? Who'd you go with? Patrick Mahomes. Okay, okay. No, I didn't actually for whatever so, reason. Did I do that right? Look yeah. At that. Look at there. Did I do Boom. that? Look at you. No, for whatever reason, now it's showing me your turn. I'm, it's, I haven't used the app a lot of the time. For whatever reason, I like to get in front of a computer, really kind of analyze things. Right. I'm going to go with the running back first. And I'm going to go with the stud of studs this year, and everyone just loving them. I'm going with Saquon Bar- Barkley. Yeah, that's, I wanted to do that, man. I want. So it says, okay, now I, it's my turn. This is your turn. Right now? Yeah. Um, no, you hadn't picked him yet. You just selected him. Now you pick him. Now you press draft. Oh, wait a minute. Did I, did I, did you already? No one's uh, picked him. Oh, where, where did I get my, where, so I didn't pick Holmes yet? Where is he? Right there. Oh. There, whoa, whoa. there you go. Yeah, you were just on him. There you go. Draft. Boom. There you go. So that's what you do. You just select them. Okay, all. so now you went, but now I go again. These are these off teams. So here's the other thing we have to go. This is the shoulda see drafting now. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. So we have to wait for these guys to draft. So here's the thing. It's just me and Bob going this year. Me and Doc. So we could – I found a couple of two-man leagues. I forgot what they were. No pun. No pun intended. They're great, great-looking great fantasy. But you had to pay for a two-man league. Every ESPN, Yahoo, all the main ones, you have minimum of four docs. So we had to have – so that's why almost at the last second, I was like, man, we might want to find two extra people. But we really wanted to have fun this year. It's our first, and you know, Gardner, the wanted, year. To, Gardner wanted to be in the see, draft, we, but he's at school. Uh, see, and see, that's the thing. People have stuff going on. So last minute, you know, last minute kind of thing. We didn't, we didn't have much of a choice. We're like, okay, it's just going to be the two of us this year, which is that's what we wanted. And we could have went old school, Doc. We could have just done pen and paper. You know what I'm saying? We could have gone old school. Old school and, and done a draft board. You know what I'm saying? We could have pulled I, it up here. I thought about doing old school like draft board. We could have pulled it up. You know, I thought about doing something like that. But I thought it'd be fun to so everyone a could see. And go and look at, because it's right there. It's live for everyone to look at online. You just pull it up so right. everyone can see the stud and dud annual. It's the first right. annual. And every, every year will update it. But, yeah. So, uh, so point being, we had to have them up to four teams. So, what I went in and did was created two goofy teams. See? <laughs> you see, see what right. I'm saying? So, yeah, they're right. going to play each other all year long in the in the DSC, the dud, <laughs> dud football conference. We're going to be in the SSC, the stud football conference. But, so, we'll play each other So, my year. team is actually Bob's nifty team. That's you. That's, that's you. That's the real team. That's, that's you. So, you just drafted again. You went Alvin Kamara. Yeah. I did. You did. See, so look at you. You got to be watching out what you're doing over Man, there. Man, I just—I must have touched the button. <laughs> You've—that's fine. You went Alvin Kamara. You went with the best running back on the. Uh, the uh, hey, that's the other one I would have went after is Alvin. Because hey, here's what we're doing in our league too: points per reception. So Alvin Kamara for the Saints, he's racking up those points. You see what I'm saying, yeah, Doc? Right, that's right. why I almost went with him. Okay, so now you go right. All right, now it's my turn. So now I'm going to switch over the quarterbacks here. Actually, I'm going to go with a, a wide receiver here. 
Um, and it's really hard for me who I want to go with um, this year. Uh, there's a lot of great wide receivers out there. Um, but I think I'm going to go with my man. He's one of my favorites. Uh, probably the best, I think, over the last decade. He's big. He's tall. Um, he's got great athletic ability, and he's super fast. I'm going with Julio Jones. Nice. Nice pick. Okay, let's see now. So I got me a quarterback. I got me a running back. I need a wide receiver. Is that correct? Yeah, so you got and you can go to results. Here, I'll show you. I'll come All right, over I know the, who uh, I'm going with. I, yeah. already, I already know see who. See the little bottom, see results down to the bottom, that little tab that says results? Yes. You press that. That will show you who you've drafted. I love it, man. Now it's go just, back to players. Go back to. Uh, On the right bottom left, yeah, about players, it. and now hey, it shows you who's available. Now I'm a, little app. Now it's my turn. Now Wait it's a minute, my your turn. turn. Yeah. You just picked. I know, but it's, there's only four players, so it's kind of, it's snake order. So who it's it goes back and forth. I'll explain that in a minute. Now. I think I'm getting screwed here, man. No, you're not. It's, it's snake it's, order. It's, so if you had the first pick in the in the first in the first draft in the first round, you now have the last pick in the second round. Oh, then you'll have the first pick in the third round. So then you'll have back to backs. All right. You see what I'm saying? Well, we're there? on film, man. So if you're taking if you're screwing me, people oh, are gonna let me know. Oh, Doc. All right. So what quarterback should I go with? You went with the man. I mean, you can't go much better than him. I mean, you know, you went with Mahomes. I mean, he's going to throw up points left and right. I almost want to get another wide receiver in, but quarterback, I mean, that's what I didn't – I really didn't do a lot of – you know what, I'm going to go with right here. You know what, I'm going to get my tight end in. I'm going to go Travis Kelsey. Now it's your pick. All right. All right. So I'm going to go with um, – I know who I'm going with here, man. You ready? All right, who we got? Who we got? <laughs> Odell Beckham. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I mean, hey, it's a good choice. You got to have a stud wide receiver out there. It's almost and, and my I'm turn. I'm counting on a big year, Cleveland. Yeah, right. I'm counting on a big year. I'm, I'm trying to decide who I want to go quarterback. If I want to go to Son Watson, Aaron Rodgers. All right, it's your pick again. See, now it's your pick so again. So I got a quarterback, I got a receiver, I got a running back. What else do I need here, man? You need two wide receivers. You're going to need a tight end. So look at the tight ends. Look at another wide receiver. All right. I'm going to go with um, – oh, man. All right, hang on. How long do I got to pick? How long? How, how? 40 more seconds. I got 40 It's at the very top. It's really small, but it's at the very top. We're already in the fourth round. Oh, yeah, I got 30 pick seconds. 14. Okay, hang on, man. Can you believe that already in the fourth round? But yeah, let's. I'll go for people real quick. You can take your time. You got thirty seconds. But we're gonna go one quarterback, people, two running backs. I know one quarterback, one running back, two wide receivers, one tight end, one defense, one kicker. And yeah, we're gonna start him every week. Cannot put the backups in unless our starter gets hurt or it's their bye week. How in the world is Gronkowski listed here, man? He I know, I know. What is the deal? With Just yeah, if you're going tight end, I'd do the next highest one. I mean, let's see. I did Kittle's good or Ertz. I'd go Ertz. I'd probably go Ertz if you're going tight end. You think? Are you? Just, you're telling me that? You're just telling me that, man. No, you got four seconds, two seconds. You better hurry. I, oh, they just took it away. <laughs> Who'd you pick? I went with oh, and, oh, you went New Hopkins. Heck, hell, you got New Hopkins. Are you kidding me? That's, I mean, that's Is that's that, the, right? that that's who I would have went for my other wide receiver. All right, man. Uh, you're good. You're good. You're good. Now I'm wondering if I should get. I almost want to get Deshaun Watson so that way every time. So that way every time you see that counters that. So every time he gets points, <laughs> I get points. Oh, it's a hard <laughs> one there. <laughs> that's a hard you're one. Killing me, man. I know, right? I could do that. I could, but you know what? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be more fair. I'm not gonna be the. I'm not gonna pull the. You know the uh, the. All right. All right. Let's go. I'm gonna go Rodgers. Uh, he's failed me. It seems like every time. That's why I almost want to. I almost don't want to go with him. I just don't. I'm not sold on Deshaun Watson yet. I'm just not sold on him. Um, God, you know, Cam. There's all kinds of. You know, what, I'm going. If Drew Brees is even there, how you can discount Drew Brees? Oh man, I'm go I'm gonna go. Oh man, I can't even decide. I'm gonna go. Oh man. Oh Devonta, it took a wide receiver for me. I could I took that long, and that's what I got. I, that's what happens when you take See, so long. You can't, you can't snooze. You snooze, you lose. You snooze, you lose. But you didn't lose. I know. My turn. That's yep, 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 yep. Uh, it's not letting me draft right now, man. No draft buttons are coming up. Oh no, no, this is the dud of duds. The dud of duds is drafting. Oh, the dud of duds. Yep. So does that go automatic? Yep. Now I'm up. No, it's my turn again. It's your turn. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go. So here's what I got to do here. Um, so I went. They had to. They picked Devontae Adams for me. So I've got to get a quarterback. So I'm gonna go Aaron Rodgers. Um, so that way they both come out in the same week. I've get the double connection there. You see what I'm saying? Right. Did yeah, you take so, two running backs? Did huh? You, did you say two running backs? No. No, just one. We're one? just gonna do one because this year there's just not that many running backs. I mean, there are a few if you look at the list. There's just, there's a two few receivers. Yes. Two receivers. Yes. Two receivers. 
Uh, we can go two. Since it's just the two of us, right. um, well, I can change that. No, that's it's yeah. okay. Whatever you think is best, man. Well, have you already drafted the running back? I have our uh, – Go to your results. I have – no. yes, Kamara. Okay, so there you go. But so, but we're only doing one receiver too. Oh my! It's my turn. All right. Well, then I'm going to do this. I don't know what's not letting me draft Aaron Rodgers. I don't know what's going on here. It's not now. My I have no idea what's going on here. It's oh the dud of duds. Okay, it did it did let me get Aaron Rodgers? It was being really weird. So it is your turn. I already picked. So. Results. I've got Aaron Rodgers so f- so far, Julio Jones, Devontae Adams, Saquon, Saquon Barkley, and Travis Kelsey. Who do you got? I have Mahomes, Beckham, Hopkins, Kamara, and I just picked the kicker. All right. So now you need a tight end and a defense. No problem. Is it my turn? Yep. Golly, man. Who is your running back? Uh, oh, man. Uh, Kamara. Okay, that's right. That's right. That's right. So I need a, a tight end, you said? Tight end. Get you, no, yeah, you need a tight end. Yep, you need a tight end. Okay. Did you not do Kelsey? Yeah, you hadn't done Kelsey. I'd, I'd probably do Kelsey or Ertz, I should say. Ertz. I just did it. I was like, Ertz was probably, yeah, that'd be a good one there. Just All right, him, so um, I need a kicker and a defense. Kicker and a defense. Kicker and a defense. Kicker here. I'm going to go with, uh, we'll go with, uh, I'm going to go with New Orleans kicker. He's always in a dome half the year. They score a lot of points. <laughs> so now Dud of Duds is picking? Yes, the Dud of Duds. There you go. Now we're kind of getting it there. Okay. Now, ooh, man. Okay. I'm ready. All right, so you went to Miami defense. Nice. I need a defense here. I didn't go Miami defense. Oh, that's Dud that of Duds. That Dud of Duds, yeah. They, yeah I, I, they, they're, hey, they're, they're quick to pick, aren't they? I have their queue picked up, so they're gonna. They're, they already have the. They're, they already know who they're picking. Yeah, because I'm not supposed to be picking dud of duds. Am yeah, I? no. Is it supposed to be automatic? Or? Yeah, the, the dud of duds and who woulda coulda shoulda or whatever. Yeah, they're they uh they're they're, they're the yeah. dud teams. Okay. Now it's my turn to pick defense. Uh, Bears were great last year, but they lost their D coordinator to Denver because that's our head coach now. Jacksonville, I'm just never sold on them. I'm gonna go with the Rams because they've just kind of seemed to be consistent. God. Now it's your team. Turkey, you just took you just took who I wanted, man. Um. I'm going to go with uh, – you know what I'm going to go with? I'll tell you who I'm going to go with. What's that? New Orleans. New Orleans. Defense. Like it. I, I like think. it. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. You can go with New Orleans. Where I didn't see where they were on the defense. Did you already pick them? Yeah. Oh, you did. You did. So here's what I'm just thinking now, too, just because we could do – the reason I kept it this way with the one quarterback, I almost made it sound like that was our lineup. One quarterback, one running back, as in we're playing a team. We're picking our best players – but it's just two teams. So do you want to start two quarterbacks, two running backs, and two wide receivers? We could. We, we, there's there's plenty deep to where we could do co- two quarterbacks, two running backs. It's up to you, man. You call it. Well, go ahead right now and pick up your pick your backup quarterback. Since it's your turn drafting right now, pick your backup quarterback, and we can uh, we can decide on this before the season starts. Okay. What we my really backup. Feel like doing. My backup quarterback is going to be. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm going with Dak. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna go with Dak. Keep it home. Keep it home. I'm keeping it home, man. I'm going with Dak. I don't know why he's down so low, and everyone's I guess so high on Deshaun Watson doing so great this year, but I'm going with Drew Brees. I don't know why he's. Yeah, that's a good pick, right? Yeah, there. I don't really understand why he's so low this year. So there's my quarterback. Now after this, I say we pick up an extra running back or wide receiver, since we're already both one. You know, we're already two deep on wide receiver, one deep on running back. Whichever one you want next, look, it's either one of us, because we need. Okay. To, we'll fill those positions in. All right, I'm I'm ready, man. All right, Dud of Duds is trying to. He's taking his time. Come on, Dud of Duds. I'm telling you, he says, "Hey, man, I don't know." There's oh, okay. If I lose the Dud of Duds, man, that's uh, it's going to be embarrassing. It is. All right, I'm going to draft Michael Thomas of the uh, the New Orleans Saints, the guy that kind of held out, got the big big, big contract. Now it is your turn. All so right. pick a wide receiver or running back to fill out the, those two. Done. All right, and now I need a running back. I'm going to go with uh, – I, I loved him a lot in uh, college, and I still uh, think he's got – all, especially with the catches, I'm going to go with – oh, it's not my turn yet. I thought it said it was my turn. I'm going to go with uh, probably Christian McCaffrey with the next running back. Nice. You going to pick Zeke? 
And speaking of which, I mean, do you think this guy's ever going to show up and play? I mean, no. I mean, gosh. I hope not. You hope not. You hope they dish him out before the season's over. I mean, yes. Jones kind of re- re- almost being reluctant lately, saying we hope you know almost we hope, but we'll have him back by the play. Or you know, we'll have him signed at some point in time is what he's kind of making it sound All like. All right, man, it's my turn here. Okay, so I got to go with. Um, Are you going wide receiver, or running I, back? I'm going to go with wide receiver. I already picked another running back. Okay, you did. Yes, um, golly, man. Um, Smith Schuster is going to get a lot of catches for the Pittsburgh Steelers this year, especially since he's like their. Yeah, I, that's. I, I'm man. looking at Hill. Hill looks good. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to show a little. I'm going to show. A Lamar little, Cooper. I'm going to show a little hometown. All right, hey. I'm going to show a little hometown. Hey, give him a whole year. You never know. You saw what he did last year in that five, six game, seven, whatever game stretch. I took it, man. I took. I, I got Dak and Cooper, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. All right, boys. and I, I think that's what we should do in the end. Just for fun, go ahead. Just it's more. It'll be more points too. We'll start our two quarterbacks. We'll start two running backs, the two wide receivers, a tight end, and, and a defense. That sound good? Okay. And then we'll pick our bench players. Okay. So let me see. Do I got two quarterbacks? Yep, you should. Have you not picked a second one yet? I thought I did. Oh, go. yeah, Dak. Yep, I got yep. Mahomes and Dak. There you go. Yeah, you go to your results and you kind of – now Now I'm going to go – now you just kind of feel it because our defense and your, and your kicker, you you don't need an extra defense or kicker. So now we're just picking three extra – I'm going to go three extra – I'm going to go extra wide receiver and tight end. These, now these are the guys you're going to fill in in your bye week. Now these are these, these three extra positions. These are my backups. These are definitely your backups. Guys, you're going to fill in, in in your bye week. All right, got it. And All right, I'm gonna go. It's my pick right now, so I'm looking for I'm looking for an extra running back. So my running backs right now have bye, and look for that too. Your my running back right now has a bye week of eleven, and has a bye week of seven. So I don't want a seven or eleven. So I'm gonna go Nick Chubb uh, right there in the middle. I love number seven. I did say no. I didn't say seven, right? I said why is the bye week, eleven? Why is the bye week important? And seven. Also, I don't need a seven. Oh, let's see here. I'm gonna go Johnson then, because you don't. You want a guy that's that you can put in on those on those two weeks. You see what I'm saying? Because you don't want two guys with number seven. Because then, oh, I see. What you see saying. what I'm saying? Then you can't put them both in. I got so you, you. Got so you, go got to your results right now. Make sure your running backs. See, my running backs have uh, bye weeks of eleven, nine. Or 11, I should say, 11, 7, and 12. So at any time, you see what I'm saying? Point being, in week seven, I can put my backup in. and we Because we're only putting our backups in on bye weeks. Right. Okay, gosh darn, man. So look at your back, look at your running backs right now and see. I already got two running backs. Though, well, I? look at their bye week. What are their bye weeks? Um, it says bye week right below their name. Um, for bye week nine. And what's the other running back? And the other running back is... By week four. Go to running backs right now. Pick Nick Chubb is who I would pick. Running back Nick Chubb? That's go to running backs. You know, Go back to the players, then go to running back right there and pick Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb, Connor for Pittsburgh, Cook. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you got a few you can pick from. You going with Elliott? <laughs> <laughs> We're not already, touching you him. You already asked that question. Right. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, I forgot about Connor because Connor's Pittsburgh new, new go-to running back. So, he he's going to be a stud. He was the one that took over last year, remember, for, yeah, right. for Le'Veon. So, so now, same thing with your wide receivers. My wide receivers have bye weeks of 9, 11, and 9. So I'm going to need to pick another wide receiver right now. I will need to pick another wide receiver because I have two at 9. So I'm going to need to pick one without a 9. I think I got them on lock. See, I already got two wide receivers. Well, what's their bye seven, weeks? 7 and 10. And now, you, have you not have a third? I thought you had a third wide receiver. No. You don't on your bench down below when you scroll uh, down. Uh, oh, yeah, an 8. Okay, so then pick one that's not one of those. You, you're really good for now. Just pick – I'd pick – because you have three different ones. You can just pick an extra wide receiver at this point. You don't really have to worry about bye week. Just go with another wide receiver. Yep. And then then and then in the next one, make sure – do the quarterback situation Got on it. the next one. All right, so I need – let's see here. I need – see, my, my wide receivers are bye week 9, 11, and 9. So I need – I honestly need one – that doesn't have one of those because that, you get my point. So I'm going to go, go Schuster. Uh, I'll go with uh, Pittsburgh Steeler here, their lead wide receiver this year. Let's see what he can do. And now same with quarterback. Now go to your quarterbacks. My quarterback has my quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, by week 11. And then I, I got a 12 and 8. So pick one that's not a 12 or an 8. Got it, man. I got a 9 and 11. So go back to quarterbacks here. Yeah, there you go. We got Deshaun Watt. There's a few to pick from. You got Baker Mayfield we can pick. That's a good choice. And now, like I said, we're just playing these guys when the other you know two what, aren't a buy. I'm going with I'm going to go with Baker. Nice. I'm going to go with Baker. Um, I'm going to go. You go Baker, and I think because I can do Deshaun Watson, I'll do Deshaun. Yeah, I got 11 here, and I got nine. I'm going to do Deshaun Watson. So I'll do Deshaun Watson. 
All you right. do, and you can do Baker because you right. got the last pick in the draft, right? I, I think. said, yeah, I'm up next. There you go. So I'm going to take Baker. There you go, and I think that's the draft. That is the draft. Draft, yeah, for us, yeah. What, there you go. We're done. There you go. So let's go over real quick. So we're gonna, once again, we're going to change this. We'll do two starting quarterbacks, two starting running backs, <laughs> two starting wide receivers, one tight end, one kicker, uh, one defense. Okay. So I've got Aaron Rodgers. And Drew Brees as my starting quarterbacks. My starting wide receivers are going to be Julio Jones and Michael Thomas. My starting um, running backs are going to be Saquon Barkley and Christian McCaffrey. My starting tight end is going to be Travis Kelsey, starting kicker Will Lutz, and my starting defense will be Los Angeles. That's pretty good, man. Yep, yep. Who do you hey, got? I only got one kicker, man. I should have gone with That's what I'm saying. You don't need an extra kicker or defense. You, those guys you can worry about in the bye week. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That, I'll tell you, in the uh, bye week, you'll drop your kicker for a week so, and pick up a kicker. So quarterbacks, I got Mahomes. All right. And Dak. Nice. And then for uh, wide receivers, I got Beckham, Hopkins, and uh, backup, Cooper. Nice. Not bad, right? Yep. Oh, definitely. And uh, then I got uh, for running back Kamara, nice. Oh, big time. And I have um, Bell. Yep. And I have that's it. You have a third running back probably down there to sub in. I do. I, I do. Yep. Keep scrolling down. That's it, man. Uh, oh, Chubb. Chubb. Yeah. See, Chubb. Yeah, he's a beast. Oh, he's a beast. It's a beast. And then tight end is who? Oh, tight end. Sorry, man. Uh, tight end, Ertz. Ertz, a great pick. And then your kicker in defense. And my my defense is New Orleans. And my kicker is uh, the Rams guy, uh, Zer- Zerlian. Yep, there, yeah, exactly. There you go, man. A good, I mean, dude, we're going to be putting some points up. I can't wait to see this uh, the showdown. <laughs> I'll change the lineup so it's 2-2-2. Two, two, I can't two. wait to just show this to my boys because yeah. they're going to say, oh, Dad, oh, that was, you should have, you know. Yeah, they'll right, tell exactly. Me, they'll tell me everything I did wrong. Hey, yeah, I mean, you, we both have some stud-worthy lineups. So there you go, the 2019, the first annual Stud and Dud Fantasy Football Draft it. done. Right here on the apps. Uh, live. And then next year, people will get people to join us. Obviously, like your son, we'll get some of our guests to join us. Because it's this simple. You do it on your phone. We'll it ha- is simple. And then we'll see, like, you know, they don't have to even join us on the show. We'll try to get at least a couple of them. But point being, we can uh, – and I'm now thinking about it because we were just talking about this. If I am, if, we haven't got there yet, but if I am back in Little Rock, everyone, this is what it's just so cool, even if they're not on the show. Dude, hey, yes, we can. Do you think your drive from – where do you live? In Dallas somewhere? Yeah, like 15, 20 minutes yeah, from If you here. think your drive is a pain – your drive from Arkansas here every week is going to be uh, Yeah, right. Yeah. D- <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my point being, we can have 10 people. Well, yeah, I think eight because if you get 10 people, I don't think the league always – sometimes you get a couple of weak teams. If you have eight teams, you're, all your teams are really solid. You get the 10 teams, and we can get there. But the teams start – there will be a couple that just get weak because draft picks, the, 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 the league's just – I'm sorry, but it's not that deep a lot of the time. Correct. So you won't get a lot of good draft picks. Regardless – Next year we'll get people to join us. So they're on, say Basil, you know, say uh, Steve Kent or whoever decides to join us. You get my point. Whoever decides to join us, Key Young. Anyway, oh, they can be, be on their that- phone. They can be on their phone. They don't have to be on the show with us that day. We'll be doing the show, and we'll just see. Oh, Basil just took. You know what? Oh, Key just took. That's what we should have done. We should have invited our previous, previous guests. Guest. To hey, join let's, us. let's do. I, I just think I want to pre- pre- prepare a little more next year. Like, January, we're letting them know about March Madness. We can get them in March Madness. Get right in. after that, we're saying, hey, we're doing a fantasy football. Are you in now? We need to, you know, we'll go to them in by April, my point being. I love it. So that way we get them in months ahead of time so they can prepare. Because, I mean, because there's one thing. It's just simple. You're, it's on your phone. You're done. And we will, when we have more teams, we will do the simple. So there are everyone's teams are good. One quarterback, one running back, right. two wide receivers. Right. But since it's just the two of us, I was like, you know what? Now thinking about it, let's have fun this year. Let's go ahead and start 2-2-2. Two, two Cut and two. our teeth. Right. Anyway, so there we go. First year in the books. You'll be able to watch it. Watch us live each week, face each other. <laughs> week one, week seven, week 14 are rivalry week. So we'll get to see who wins the, so the odd number of rivalry weeks. Right. And then we go into the playoffs. You know week. who should have been part of the draft? The outlaw. Oh, yeah. He could have been the commish. The he official commish. He could have been the And next year, you know what? He will be. Okay. You know what? We'll have all these people join us, and we'll have the outlaw be the <laughs> official commissioner of it. And we'll try to get, yeah, we'll try to get a couple, every, you know, at least a couple people on the phone to join us. So, yeah, it'll be that. It'll be fun. Oh, that was hilarious. But great. Man. That was great. I loved it. That was fun, man. So, back to what's on tap today. There's the draft. Doc's about to go off again. What's up, Doc? College football season started. We'll recap everything here in a second about everything. Little League World Series. A lot of, lot of stuff going on. Awesome. But first, couldn't get this in a second ago. The Golden Tan. You're looking good. Florida was it, great. It was good to you. Oh, finally. Because last year, good. last year we got those little mini pools, so we're laying out like every, you know, 
women when they see water in in, in something long, you know what I mean, not a mud puddle, but they see a pool essentially. You know they're heading toward it. Every, so point me, we got this pool last year. Everyone was like, let's get a pool, let's get a pool. So we got one of those little $40 pools from Walmart that are like four or five feet deep. You know, you get the super big ones. We just got one of those little small ones. <laughs> so out, last year we are out there every day. We put it actually, too, on the patio, the covered patio, where we put a hammock over it. So it gets sun like half of the day. And then, oh, it was – so we're, get, we're getting sun. We're loving life. Yeah. This year, you know, we put we put it in the, the winter. You know, when you, it's one of those things you put up in the winter. By the time you get it back out next year, you're like, oh, this kind of, it's kind of gross. <laughs> uh, this, isn't go, this isn't going out this year. <laughs> So, you're, so we weren't laying out as much. We could have went and got another one, but we were a little busier this year. So we, we're a little wider. So yeah, the tan, couldn't, point being, we finally got some sun. Which, that's all we did. We grazed. We got, got, got some fun time in with the Jeep and with the dogs. Went down to the dog beach. We brought Bella, Good. our great Dane, and Brody, our two nice. bees. The two oldest are 12 and 10-year-old. So nice. funny to say, 12 and 10-year-old. They're like 100 in dog years. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You know, what one is of, that, like one of them's like 70. One of them's like 100. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean? They're loving life. They were running around, posted tons of videos. We'll post more, but great time. Ate ton of seafood like we were talking about all, uh, the other nice. day, but oh, it was nice. so good. Ate so much. Wish I would have had more, honestly, because now, now we're here. Yeah, and, you, you can know, never I can eat, eat enough it. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'll see. Well, like I said, we're talking about before we did the midweek updates, because it, it, you have so much. and it's, it's like I said, eat a lot cleaner the last couple of years, so we finally have all that restaurant food, or even a lot. We're eating a lot of fried food, too. By day five versus you know, Wednesday, Thursday, you're going, oh, I need to – you cut like, the sun on top of you, and you, of course we're having some beers on the beach, so you're drained. You know what I'm saying? So oh, yeah. by, by by Thursday, I had to go back to just I gotta eat something kind of clean, it's kind of simple. I have to drink some water. Water, exactly. <laughs> so that's why like by then you get back and like, dang, I just wish I would have destroyed more shrimp or more, you know. Now you're, yeah, but <laughs> suffered. It just suffered. Just who said? Who cares? Oh. But it was great. It was great. Something's going on in the in the Lawrence house. Uh, excellent, man. Things are. Uh, Things Gardner are, taking trips all over. Yeah, he's heading to Norman. Ma, Ma, to yeah, he just got back from Norman, mm-hmm. Oklahoma, up there, and now this weekend, Mama's taking him to uh, to uh, uh, Tuscaloosa. Lusa, yeah, go see uh, Alabama. Yeah, the meet, tradition. Meet you got to take a, yeah. a, a picture with Saban statue, right? Yeah, he's going to be, meet <laughs> with the coaches there and play a little bit. That's so awesome. He's very excited. And the week after Hopefully that, little... the week after that, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What? Dude, oh, we got to talk about that. Because What's that? I think Friday. I don't. Well, the week after that, we head to the hill, he- heaven on earth, South Bend. Oh, Indiana. big game because Notre we'll Dame. talk about this big game on Monday night before oh, yeah. Monday night football takes oh, yeah. over. They are in line yeah. this Monday. We'll get to that. But yeah, yeah. oh, really? So if, oh, 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 I forgot because you did mention. Yeah, he he has a trip to, to Notre Dame. Mm-hmm. Notre Dame, right? That's awesome. So Alabama, Alabama this weekend. Notre Dame. I mean, Dame just next all weekend. over. I yeah. mean, are you kidding cool? me? Beautiful. I mean, awesome, it's, how does that make you feel, honestly, as a father? Uh, fantastic. I mean, are you kidding me? Are you <laughs> I mean, right? Really proud of it. Yeah, yeah. Really proud well, of it. We're still going to end up on the hill in Fayetteville. Uh, Arkansas. Eating some, eating some catfish hole. I, I got to tell you, he really likes the coach. Oh, though. yeah. Hey, he's repping the shirt and in, in pictures on it on, fa- on social media. So, you know, that he definitely, loves, which is good. Yeah, he loves Arkansas. Yeah. He loves that area. You know, we go up every Thanksgiving up the Big Cedar up yep. there in the yep. Ozarks. And that's not far from... Uh, from Fayetteville, yeah, about and, an hour, hour and a half, yeah. at most. But yeah, so he he loves that area, and of Beautiful. course, yeah, you, I've said this before on the show. You know, you go you go to Arkansas baseball, man. You go to that stadium, and you just see the, the it's the who's who of oh yeah, uh, who's playing and in then, major. And I know leagues. y'all haven't been, but go during spring and see. Oh oh, that we are the number th- what top five every year in yeah, attendance because yeah. that stadium is packed out the wazoo, yeah, no, and there's a line to line up in that whatever that they call the outfield. I, out I there. actually I actually think you know I know football always reigns king, but I'm telling you, man, if I, University of Arkansas, the baseball program is oh that's what Dad and them talk about on the show. No, I mean not in Basel, I mean, they definitely if you want to be truthful and admit full about the statistics, it's Arkansas baseball bar none yeah. over what's the or obviously their track and field they're at that that you know they're. Track is a really great program on either side, men's and women. But besides that, yeah, if you talk about their top sport, prime sport, you know, your top three sports, yeah, that baseball program, are you kidding me? Well above where the football and uh, basketball it's, program it's are. Top, top notch. Top notch. So, yeah. That, and that we've talked about previously, not mentioned schools, but, yeah, schools where you go to and the coaches aren't. Which You go to Fayetteville, those coaches are some of the best coaches you're going to be around. Yeah, that's right. And they want you that's to succeed. Right. That's right. And not to mention the catfish hole. Oh, pff, Come on, right? I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many times I have to say that in this segment. But their fry food is healthy. Oh, I don't care yeah, what you right, say. Yeah. That, their, fry, yeah. their fry food is yeah, healthy. Yeah, right, yeah. That's well, healthy fry that's food. That's healthy. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? All right, let's get to it. What do you got this week on What's Up, Doc? Okay. What's up? Can I just tell you? I, I just, we live in a crazy society, you, so yeah. We, we live in a time that, you know, I just see things. Sometimes it just ticks me off. You got to go. You, you have to just say, yeah. what's up? What's up, man? What's going on? What are you here? doing? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Listen to this. Here's the headlines. 
Diversity Panel recommends eliminated gifted student programs for allegedly perpetuating stereotypes. Repeat that line again for so me. That just long, listen. long. The headlines: long, Diversity yeah. Panel recommends eliminated gifted student programs in the schools, in schools, yeah. in our academic yeah. institutions. Yeah. Because it just allegedly it perpetuates what, stereotypes. That's what I was, I was like, what was right, that? So, right? What? So the idea here is simply this. They looked at gifted programs, students that are in gifted mm-hmm. programs, and they're saying that uh, the majority of the kids that are in the gifted programs are kids that are Asians. Uh, duh. Well, yeah. Uh, they, can, they actually can, care about academics. Yeah. Can we, duh. So what's wrong with that? Right. And there's actually, God forbid, white people. Yeah. In in the gifted programs, yeah, right? Because that that just can't happen. Yeah. Okay. Right. But besides skin color, which is absolutely ridiculous, why would you destroy in our academic institutions gifted yeah. programs for children, students that are excelling academically? Do we not want children to succeed and excel yeah, academically? I know. Do we not want them to do and the actually ne- reward people that are actually doing, not just give hands like the world we live in here, trophy for you, even though you're in last place. You know what I mean? Type world we live in, where it's like uh, let's uh, actually reward the people that are actually doing. They're working their butts off. To right. get where and, they're and at. Who cares? And now you're taking that away from them. And, and why does skin color even have to enter, I know, into that's that one of the equation? That they emphasize on. Like, yeah. That's wh- sad. Wh- wh- why does that even have Matter. to matter? Yeah. Re- can we get over that? Yeah. Can we all just get over that? I don't get Kid, it. if you got a 4.0, I don't care what your skin color is, yeah. dude. We got to put. We, yeah, you're great. You're, you're awesome. You're awesome. Yeah. You're and, doing good things. And, like you're. And we're, we're going to challenge and, you academically. Yes. I don't care if you're half white, half black. And because the thing too, a lot of the reasons why you. You have those programs. Is the point being now you're just going to stick them back in with regular? I hate to say regular. That's, that's what they're doing. That's yeah, what you see what I'm saying. That's, that's so now they're, they're not being their brains aren't being. And anyone in life, what you want to be is tested and keep pushing your limits and, and learn as much as you can learn. So now these kids are now not going to get that because they're having to be like it's almost like what's two plus two? Well, to them they're going to be, you know what I'm saying? Or even like what's 147 times 53? They're going to be like, but 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 boom. And most people are like, okay, they're like really I have to go back to I don't even have to. It's in my head already. Like. Why, where's the program that y'all had for me that's accelerated so I can keep pushing this brain because I want to? Well, And, and, and now I just think they, what they need to start doing, and that you see these schools over in other countries, my point being. Anyway, accelerate this program. I, have, I guess they do have these schools, but schools where these kids are learning at a faster rate, whereas in over in Asia, they're pretty much are, you know, at, they're at college. At 14, 15, they're as smart as we are at 18. Now, you get my our, our average, their average 13, 14, 15-year-olds probably as smart as are, and they are. As smart as our 17, 18, why? Because they're doing stuff more compact and a lot faster, so they're they're ready by 18. Like our, and most of our 18s are like, well, once, like what we're talking, hey, honey, are you going to feel in 7 living tonight for me? Old Chad Fletro and, uh, and Lou Ann back here, they're crying. As in they're pregnant with two, you know, they already right. have two babies, one on the way probably, right. and they're working, and right. they've ruined their life. And I say, you get my point, where I'm like, where they could be really focusing on, or should have been already well educated. Anyway, I just well, you know, and we just take it for granted. I think a lot in this, a lot of things for for you know for granted. You know, and the whole thing about perpetuate, you know, perpetuating stereotypes, right? Are there a lot of Asians that excel academically? Yes, is that a stereotype? Well, yeah, you know why? Because it's true. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you can make it true. It's just like saying, it's true. It's yeah. true. Yeah. So yeah. there's nothing wrong with the stereotype. Yeah. It's it's true. Yeah. As a musician, I hear all the time, golly, man, musicians are involved with drugs and alcohol. Do I get offended as a musician? No. You know why I don't get offended as a musician? Exactly. Because it's true. (laughs) It's like, it's not like it's, yeah, well, like we're not pointing out anything that's like bad too. (laughs) Right. You know, it's just one of those truthism. I mean, it's just one of those things I'm a musician and I'm not, but I don't get offended when somebody makes a. Because that's that's one thing. It's as simple as that, but people can get offended about it. Or simple as like, you point me, you go to the beach. Why why people love going to the beach is you go to the beach and it's just a ton of white. You know, it's a bunch of rednecks or a bunch of white people and white families because that's what they love to do. But that's true. You can say, well, I'd be all you or have you. But no one's going to offend you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, there's just so many truthisms that you can say that are like, why are you getting offended by that? It's just true. Like, that's just just true. Like, I don't. And it's just goofy, and some don't, some do, but and that's just goofy to even mention that the the fact that we, th- we, we know they're smart. We who cares though that you're and you're going to specifically mention Asians? Like what? Who, wh- who cares? Right? Yeah. We don't dummy down the system, and I it's like you touched it. upon it just a little bit ago. It's like in athletics, right? A team comes, plays a tournament, and and the boys come in last. Yeah. They come in. There's 16 teams in the tournament. They come in 16, 
and we want to give them a trophy and put them on a on a pedestal because we don't want their feelings to be hurt yeah. or to be left out. No, you know what? Yeah. You, 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 you need to lead a team. This is, this uh, is uh, life. You, you need to learn lessons early on. You, you're going to lose. You came in last. You're not always going to succeed. You, you're gonna, you, you got beat. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you know how much more beat you're going to get beat in life? How many more wrongs you're going to do? And how many times you're not going to win? Right. So we do it. We already do it athletically. Yeah. And now we keep wanting to do it academically. Yep. So what's up, Doc? Stop dummying down. We should have an environment where we allow athletes to succeed. Yeah. Allow students academically to Big succeed. Time. And not pull them back down because we're afraid that we're leaving yeah. somebody behind. behind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I don't get it. I mean, I really don't. I mean, and it toughens the kid. I mean, imagine like even like 50 years ago when there, that wasn't obviously even, you know, really more so my, I know if you can play and go back 20, 30 years when it wasn't really in the society. But yeah, 50, 60 years ago, I mean, imagine how people did live and how they had to, to learn to think, point being everything wasn't always going to go their way. Correct. You know what I mean? So and now you're teaching kids that, and now, especially with what you see on social media, what they're always on their phones and especially what you see on TV with the Kardashians and all these social, you know, reality shows where they're literally getting paid stupid 50, 50 to 100 plus maybe million dollars for an episode just to be on some stupid fake reality show. It's not even reality. It's yeah, all right. scripted still. Right, right. But yet they're still getting paid 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars per episode and they're living this glamorous life even though they really don't probably even have a job. They're living off of this and people are like, well, and so then my point being the average person that's watching this through their whatever tv phone they're going well I, so now they're living this everyone's living it, a fake life a, a, right. a fake and here's the other thing if we brought in randomly brought in 10 people into this room and we asked them the simple question should we dummy down education so that no one succeeds yeah i think 10 people would say no. no. Yeah, you would hopefully logistically I think, 10 think logistically would say, no. say no. Yeah. So where are these committees coming up with the need and desire? I mean, like, there's no. Wh- wh- yeah. wh- wh- I mean, one thing of the very first thing they mentioned it was costing for whatever reason somehow was costing money was costing these schools, which you know, always schools are somehow needing more money, obviously. But I could see that maybe that, be, but never mention what they mentioned, like, and that being the first things they well, mentioned. It was it was it was taking it away because it was perpetuating stereotypes. Right. Oh, there's too many. There are too That's many. There are too many Asians yeah. in this. That's what I'm saying. I can understand program. That's what they mentioned. It's just it's costing most of our schools just too much money in the or financially, so we're only going to leave it in certain or whatever. But the, yeah, the first thing you mention is wow, terrible. That's what I'm saying. If you had a reasonable reason, you had a reason for it. There's no reason for that. Yeah, you're just. Mm. It's and, so funny, man. I tell my kids all the time in school, man. Hey, you having trouble? Find the kids in the classroom that are kicking butt academically, that are, are mastering that subject matter. Ask them to give you a hand. Yeah. Can they help you? Just simple stuff. Can yeah. they help you? Yeah, yeah. I, what, what I don't say is, well, that kid shouldn't succeed. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's just too smart. He shouldn't be taking I mean, he should be, you know what I mean? Right. Or, no, I'm going, or I'm making I, my son feel dumb or who knows what all they say. I'm telling my kid, hang out with yeah. that kid yes. and learn. Yes. Push yourself. <laughs> You're right. Want to learn all the things you want to learn. Trust me, it's going to benefit <laughs> right. you in the end. But right. that's, oh yeah, that's gosh. the society we live in. Because I, f- I forgot what the movie, it, oh, I forgot what it was called. Oh, it blows my Because every time I forget the name of this movie, it came out about 13, 2006, 2005, 2007. But a society that, oh, God, I forgot the name of this movie. And everyone's, oh, it's, it's not called stupid. Oh, I forgot what it's called. Future. Oh, um, I forgot. I've got to look this up. And I forgot. I forgot. Anyway, I'm not even going to do this right now. Anyway. I'm come up, I'm gonna come back with this next week. Show from the future that our, our society's more and everyone's saying this that remembers the movie that our society's moving more and more. Point being in the movie, they're feeding plants, literally feeding plants with Gatorade. Gatorade's in their water fountains now, you know, because everyone's so sugar driven, blah, blah blah blah. No one's drinking water anymore. And they're one point being the, in the government and the pre- I forgot who plays the president. They're wondering why the plant's not growing, and this guy somehow gets you know transported to the future where yeah they're they're feeding plants with Gatorade. They're you know stuff where you're just like wow how dumb society hit. And it's just stuff you even back then you're going like. It's never going to get there. Now, about 10, 15 years later, you're going, wow, we're, we're really racing towards, like, literally just dumb society. Just like, and well, here's what's so crazy, and he's young. The guy that used to be, I don't think he, think he still is. Um, oh, my gosh. I am, oh, Pete, Pete Davidson. Almost, I'm terrible with yes, names I know on the spot. Yes. But he, Pete Davidson on SNL was just in uh, one of the at Florida universities and was yelling. Did you see that? Yeah. Where he was yelling at them, like, and, and he, they, half of them are laughing because they're that dumb, but he's really mad going, y'all are, I, like, how dumb are y'all? Like, do I have to like be the teacher and be like, yeah. I said, you know, I forget because it came, everyone had their phones out and they're videotaping this and they, not every show you go to, even like Chappelle, I love it. Man, they started forever ago and I go see like Dave, you know, Dave Chappelle, Chappelle, Chappelle anyway, huge act. And I'm like, okay, I can understand no cell phones, but they're for real. Like they don't want your cell phones out on those acts 
because then you're going to post that, and then then their material's released. So and it's huge on comedy acts. Obviously, go and it was like that for a while on concerts. It was weird. They didn't want you recording, so it was like no. So now nowadays, it's just so hard to like whatever, please. And it's like almost a promotion. You right. heard the songs. It's not release. You're not releasing anything new. Right. So now it's just a promotion for bands. So I was like, hell, hello, we're we're right. we're getting our name out there just like that. Hell yeah, we'll take that. But these comedy acts are like they don't want our you know their material release because then now why do you want to go see the show? And I just heard the joke, or and I know it's not the whole show, but it could be a anyway. So anyway, that's what it spawned from, or stem. What do you want to say? Stem from was you know David Pete was getting pissed at that, and then anyway, which I understand, but yeah, and just was, took it to a whole nother level where yeah, it's like God, he was raiding them like, and he's not much older than them. Yeah. Well, here's here's the myth that that we continue to try to perpetuate, right? Is that everybody has to be the same. Everyone's not going to be the same. No, and that's what I always it, say. And as much as it pisses me off sometimes, I'm like Josh, what not, do you always say every everyone to your fingerprint that's why you're that you're different you're different as much as me and avery or some a lot of my we're a lot of me whatever we're in common in so many areas there's areas where we're definitely not we're not you, you, as point being as similar as you can be with to certain people you're there are going to be certain ways you're going to be different there are people you, smarter than you yeah. there are people smarter than you, there's me. not one same there, person there are people Every better athletically is, yeah. than you there are people better athletic there are better musicians than me oh yeah there's better golfers than you oh, yeah. i mean come on right everybody's not the same no. so let's stop trying to make everybody oh, yeah. the pursue same. to be great you know like the whole like i'll be with dad with on the show you know keep your feet or keep your or keep shooting for the stars and your feet on the ground you know that whole old school saying where it's been you know flip-flop by first the anyway but regardless that you know, essential saying but shoot, shoot for the stars correct and if you see people up there don't pull them down like we see all the time correct. Deckmar talks about all the time sean talks about this all the time in chat where he sees all point being everyone no one wants you to succeed everyone want, they want they want to succeed but everyone correct. else wants to see everyone else just yeah, yeah. why oh no Ugh. Yeah, hardly right. anyone's like yeah hell yeah man good for you man look at that girl yeah, she's right. rocking it they're like right. they hate they hate well they hate. you know along the same lines right financially speaking you're a financial guy along the same lines my dad used to say this all the time and it's so true he goes if you took all the money in the united states of america you put it in a big pile everybody got in line and you divvied out the exact same dollar amount yeah, to yeah. each individual in the United States of America. Do you know that a year later, it would be right back to where it is before you started? Yeah. In other words, there's going to be people that know how to make money, yeah. and there's going to be people that squander that money. Oh, yeah. That it, there's it's no, just everything it, evens itself right back off, just that, like the stock market, that, that, essentially. That's everything exactly right. levels, it's, everything so corrects you, you itself. You can't divvy up the money and everybody no. have the exact same thing in your bank account. Yeah. It ain't going to happen. Oh, no, no, because everyone's different. Everyone's different. Oh, yeah, everyone's buying a purse, or they're buying drugs and alcohol uh, uh, and coffee. Cars and, and TVs or instruments. So and if we're trying to make everybody the same academically, ain't gonna happen. No. You're gonna try to make them yep. the same financially, ain't gonna happen. No. Right? So. I just knock off the yeah. madness. So yep. that's my what's up, Doc. Boom. Let's catch up on <laughs> what we missed out of the last couple of weeks. And it's did you how much? I'm sure you did. I was on vacay and I was taking full advantage of it, hardly watching any TV unless I was doing this at night, sleeping. Did you catch up to the World College or the College, the Little League World Series? Oh yeah. Watch, watch it till it till it's final. The boys love that. I figured. I'll just yeah, make sure you watch yeah. Louisiana take home the crown. Yeah. yeah. Which that, which I noticed that down there, I saw a bunch of Louisiana people and saw that they were making their way to the final, and you could tell it was on TV. People were watching it. We're out at dinner and stuff, so it was cool to see Louisiana. We're right here next to them. I was, I was, I was squeeze. We're squeeze. They're squeeze, essentially we're, they. That's the state squeezed in from where I came from, and then where I was at. You know, I came from Texas. Was in Florida. Yeah, right. Louisiana squeezed in between. So it was cool to see, you get my point, the effect of all that in the, in the aftermath. Like, well, it's cool Louisiana won. I bet won. you those LSU coaches are already going, hey, son. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, a couple of them. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. It was cool to see it. You could see them and cure us out. You know, it's good. I remember I watched them. The very They were the, they opened up. Remember, they actually yeah. opened the tournament up. Yeah. So it was cool to see them. Literally the very first game, and they've played the very last game. So it was kind of see cure us out. Cool. Play, yeah, to play the very first. And the very, I should have looked that up to see if anyone, and I'm sure that may have been a stat, because one of those things they run, they don't, unfortunately, they'll run that usually the day of. Like Curacao, the only team to open the tournament of the very first game and, and you know right, play right. the very first and very last game of the t and tournament. So cool to see. Um, but yeah, I was just wondering. I'm sure you yeah, yeah. watched it till its entirety. We got it videoed. I mean, we got it DVR'd. Oh yeah, the kid. Yeah, I've videoed right. I guess that's old. Yeah, I didn't know if you went. Yeah, I was like, wow, you went in. You still have a VCR. You put okay, kids, hold on, record. Next eight hours, you're good to go. Let me know when that goes off. I got the tape ready. <laughs> 
Oh, all right. Pete. I'll run up to 7-Eleven, get my nuts. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another cartridge. Yeah, was, uh, those were the good days. Happy, my grandpa, was like, every every Razorback game, whether it was football, basketball, well, football or basketball, that's all they ever aired. But, boy, he had so many. You know, obviously all the classics, boy. But, yeah, he, that was his same. I still got eight tracks day. in my car. Oh, I'm I, sure, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> but, and kids, what the heck? Dad, what's this? Why do you put this in? This big old clunk of, like, this is as big as my phone. <laughs> right. All right, let's do the P- PGA Tour. I mean, I, Rory. I, what do you Rory think about back, that, man? That was cool. It's good to see him back in action, finally kind of working his way back to, you know, not complete. I mean, obviously, he was great a few years, you know, 2012, whenever it was. I mean, but it's just good to see him finally getting back into, you know, top five, top ten, obviously. What do you, what do you, what do you credit that to? Just, uh, just I think uh, just determination. I'm sure if Key was here, too, I just think he's one of those guys that has just been putting the effort and keep pushing, and he hasn't kind of – A, has never really fallen off. But then just keeps pushing. Those beasts got to do the same thing, and they'll just, you know, they'll get back there. And then no one's, I almost said Jordan, no one's Tiger. I mean, no one's going to have that elongated period of just like, like where you're just like, dominance. How's he still doing this shit? Like, how, he just won by how many again? Like, how, you know what I mean? Where you're just like, wow, wow. Anyway, but to, to recaption, that's what you see good, good golfers in the past. Like, I hate to say Arnold Palmer's of the world because he's much better. You know, he, we, Arnold Palmer's way better than any of those put together. But you'll say, like, the Nick Faldo's of the world. The one that like, won, like, say, six majors. You know, they, they're not all, they, you know, they have a little run here and they're kind of, okay, they're pretty good for a while. Then they have a little good, real good run here. And they never can put that Jack Nicholas, Arnold Palmer, Tiger, where right. they're just like, God, they're just, they're going to win, most likely. We're just right. like, they're going to win. Wow, they didn't win. Wow. You're almost shocked when they don't win, essentially. Correct. Um, but anyway. But, hey, how about that smooth 15 mil in the bank? I'm sure after taxes, whatever it is, but, man, that's crazy they upped that from well, 10 to like 15. Well, like, number six or number eight still walked away with, like, one point. And here's my point. See how much, Dang ladies, it. do you see how much money and it's because of how much they've kept the spot? It's, that's why. It's not just because we're like, hey, 15 mil. It's like, a, right. like an auction, like some guys uh, yeah, out there, right. like, who wants to pay this for the? No. See, it goes back to the same thing again. What? Go ahead and say it. Well, everybody's got to be. This, everybody's got to be, be treated exactly equal. Treated and we all know I love equality. Everybody's got to be treated the same. When it comes to all that, that that individual type stuff, being treated the same and being paid the same is totally different. Correct. Everyone yes should be treated the same. <laughs> but when it comes to being paid the same, well, uh, but they but they equate that as being synonymous. I know those are and synonymous terms. Just, and Goofy. everybody's not going to be paid the no. same. No, it's 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 like anything. Like why, how the NBA or the especially the MLB's never had to worry about this, and that's why they've been able to pay, throw boohoo's around. But point being, the NFL, why they keep getting paid more and more is why. It's because they keep. Hey, well, of course they keep inflating the salary cap. But it's because how much are the Cowboys worth now? <laughs> like uh, they still want, and, and they once again are probably over the last fifteen years, probably an eight and eighteen. They're probably a five hundred team over the last two decades. I mean, take give or take. You right, get my point. Right. And are still the. N- Worth more than any of those soccer clubs yeah. over in Europe. They're worth more than the Yankees still. They're worth how many billion? Wow. Yeah. So you, that shows you why. That's why they can go, how much you need, buddy? There you go. Uh, I just had about 500,000 uh, shirt shirt orders a day across the world. Crazy. You get my point. <laughs> right. I mean, because right. Cowboy fans across the world probably literally each day are just. Right. That's why. They're selling those shirts. Those uh, helmets, those well, everything you're buying and buying those tickets, blah, 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 and those concessions and every that's that's why they can that's why they're and, worth three billion dollars. That's right. Jacksonville the Jaguars aren't getting the same set. Yeah, exactly. That's why. You don't see Jaguar fans over in Europe or over in you get my point. You, you random one, but not like you'll see you'll walk you'll be walking around like Maine and you'll see cowboy fans. Like, what are you do what? You're in Maine. Well, yeah, man. I forgot in Florida. Forgot where I was at at some forgot where I was at in Florida. Cowboy stuff, huge cowboy. I'm like, wow, cowboy. Here you, you get my point. And it was cowboyed out. I'm like, there you go. Speaking of which, you know, you'll see a random Pittsburgh. Steve, they're the big franchise, like my Bronco. You'll see those big fan bases here and there, but you'll everywhere you go, you're gonna see a Cowboys fan. Well, and, and, and everywhere you go, when somebody says, where are you from, and you go, oh, I'm from Texas, uh, Cowboy fan. Oh yeah, right, right, exactly. If I if I said Florida, I don't get. Dolphin fan. Yeah, Miami, Marlins, you, who, you, yeah, yeah, who, who are you? Right, no, but it's automatically assumed Cowboys. Cowboy fan. Cowboys. Cowboys. So, Tiger underwent another knee surgery. Did you see that on the yeah, same knee? he's done. I know. I knew you were going to say that. So, done. he plans to return in uh, October, late October, in a, uh, to the PGA Tour I'm event glad he got his, I got, I'm glad he got his senior win before he became officially part of the senior <laughs> tour. <laughs> oh, but Doc, he's d- just but, hating. But he's done. I don't think he's done. He's done. I don't think so. If he would take – and here's what I would uh, – he won that, and maybe so. You're, here's the thing: if he would have, t- and I'll say this: if he would have been taking more time off, I'm like, well, no, if he, he had that good little stretch there, and now all of a sudden he tweaks it again. So now I'm thinking because he did that swing was so vicious to his body early on. 
that it's now kind of coming back to haunt him and he's having all these knee and back issues. And I think some of that hurt because a lot of that sim suit, not only was his swing was kind of, it just was, you know, it's, it's a high torquing swing on that body and those knees in your back. I then actually, after he hurt, my point being that the U.S. Open in 2008, when, which was correct, well, that just shows you how crazy and good he is, that he broken leg when he won on that. But I think that damage now that he's older, like anyone, even though he's Tiger Woods, he's so athletically you know, given, 10 years or 15 years later, your body's going to wear. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what, 11 years later, now after those surgeries, they're going to wear on you. You can't just be... If he you never know, had those injuries, like, say, uh, Emmett Smith of the world that gets lucky and just never has an injury, he obvi- obviously he's probably 20 ba- he's probably twenty majors in now. He probably has broken Jack's record. Those injuries plus, obviously, the event. But those injuries. What's the event, man? Yeah. The car accident? You mean running from the house? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah. With the, <laughs> the, the, the woman saying, yeah. Whoosh, yeah. Whoosh, yeah. with the golf club saying, yeah. you get out. Who have you been cheating on me yeah. with? Yeah. These girls That's when it Vegas. started, man. That's when it started. Well, right before that was you, the injury. You, and then that, it, it was a double whammy. He got the injury that he now can't ever really he seem to come up, back from. He got neutered, then man. That, He got neutered. He, he, well, that too. He, I, he was no longer Tiger. But the injuries, though, too. I'm telling you, he every year has to withdraw from these tournaments and literally withdraw. Yes, injuries, true, but here, oh, too. Here, it's both. That's what I'm saying. Here. He took the double whammy. Yeah. He took the double whammy. Yeah, he took the double whammy. It's like it, it, it's well, like in the stock world when you have support at the v, the VWAP, which is a great support line, and then the trend line. Say the stock's bouncing off this trend line all day, but as soon as it cracks both of those, like as in you get a double whammy like that. It's not just like a, it's like a whoop. I mean, it's yeah. it's one of those side things. Where you're just like, you got a double whammy. He didn't just get the car accident or he just didn't get injuries. He got both. And then, his, like I said, his pop's dying around the same time. So that just, that was his mental soldier. I everything, hate it for him because I love him to impl- death. It imploded. It did. It really did. Great to see him, like I said, get the major in. Great to see. I can't wait to see what happens to him next year. He needs to take more time off. I wish he would not come you know, back in October. I wish he would take off till like next February. There's an old February. there's an old song by Frank Sinatra, old Blue Eyes, called "That's Life." Yep. And there's a lyric in there that says, "Riding high in April, shot down in May." There you go. What's and a- that's what happened to Tiger, man. He was riding <laughs> high in April. And he was shot. The guys would have loved that. The guys love Frank Sinatra. The, Roger, who's on the show, eventually, so we can have the whole trifecta on. We get Roger on. I love little Roger. He goes so many different voices on the dad, like Dad, Roger, and Basil. Um, but man, they love that. They love Frank Sinatra. But, I mean, he has a, he does a really good Frank, Frank Sinatra. So we'll have like oh, you have to pull that up again. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, dude, dude, it's great. Roger is great. All right, let's get on to let's get on to what's what's going on tonight. What happened last night? What's happened last week? College football is back. Aren't we so happy? At least I am. Everyone listen. I was shocked football. last night, man. Clemson won. Were you shocked? <laughs> I, I would have been. A, a great one last week. Did you see number eight Florida had a little trouble there with Miami, that old school rivalry? I, I love when they open the year with Florida Miami. That's that old school thing. I forgot. I think they took a few years off from doing that, but I love when Florida Miami open the year against each other. Great in state yeah. rivalry. I, I didn't realize. I forgot Florida was ranked so high, but they pulled out with a 24 20 win. Didn't watch much of that game because, once again, I was in Florida enjoying the vacay. You catch it? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I was just sitting there thinking, you know, Clemson won last night Yeah. against Georgia Tech. I haven't read the, the press coverage on that yet today. but I'm. I'm, I'm I, What's I, his face? Only had like 150 passing yards. Trevor Lawrence, I'm sure he didn't play too much. I'm sure they yeah, got him out but, after but that. But I'm sure it's painted as Georgia Tech is, is like one of the best teams in the nation and Clemson destroyed them. Yeah. Which is ridiculous, right? Because you take a team like Notre Dame plays Georgia Tech, and everybody says, "Well, Georgia Tech sucks." Yeah, Clemson plays them, and they're a great team. Well, regardless, Clemson, I think they're overrated. We can't wait to see how the rest. Correct. Of them. They, they Correct. Be, they beat them quite handily. Obviously, I didn't watch much of the game because it was like on ACC Network. It was on a weird channel. Yes. So I didn't watch it. So anyway, I, I did watch a little bit of Texas A&M, which kind of looks sluggish at times over Texas State. I mean, Texas State, eh? They only beat them forty-one to seven. I say only. But at first game of the year, ex- expected to see some teams not yeah, right. beat a right. team 80 to nothing. Right. Um, but tonight, got some great games. Number 19, Wisconsin at South Florida. That's on ESPN. And Tulsa, a little close, pretty close by. Definitely close to Northwest Arkansas, where I used to see all the time. At number 18, Michigan State. So we got two ranked teams, right? 18 and 19 in action tonight. At Wisconsin, or should I say Wisconsin at South Florida. I think that's going to be a good matchup. South Florida is going to put a battle on them, I think. And Tulsa at Michigan State um, is on FS1. Wisconsin, South Florida on ESPN, which obviously by the time you probably hear this, the games are over. But anyway, those are at 6 o'clock tonight, so we'll have something to watch. Right. If you uh, want to watch some college football it, it, on Friday well, night, pretty nice. What's happening Monday night? Oh, we're going to get to that. Let's get to tomorrow's games. How about oh, that oh, first? Okay. Uh, right. we got I some... was uh, jumping ahead. Okay. You are. You... Hello. you got to get to Saturday first. The biggest game of the weekend. Sorry, Doc. 
isn't on Monday. It is actually uh, it's here in Dallas. Do you know you, you, the big opener every year they have here in Dallas yeah, at AT&T which, who, Stadium? Who is it? This year it's number where is it? Number eleven Oregon versus number sixteen Auburn. So I'm thinking, even it's though it could okay. be first game of the year, I could see it being like. Right. 38 to 32. It's going to be a probably a high-scoring battle. Two fast-flowing offenses. All right, that's great. It's okay. That's a, that's a high-scoring game. You're not like that, though. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little new age, and I'm a little old school, too. I like seeing every once in a while, because I want to stay awake. I like seeing a, a barn a shootout. Burner. Yeah, I like seeing it. Uh, so, let's see. Run through some other big games tomorrow. FAU, Florida Atlantic's at number five, Ohio State. Uh, Bama's first test of the year. They get Duke. Duke at home. They get Duke at home, so that should be no test to them. Is that this weekend? Yep. Uh, in Alabama? Yes. So Gardner's going to be there. Huh? Yes. Oh. Duke versus Alabama. Uh, that's 2.30 on uh, Saturday gonna afternoon. Be, he's going to be right there in the thick of it, yeah, man. Yeah, I didn't think about that. So, Gar- you, wait till you, you got to tell him, wait till you see how crazy it's going to be <laughs> tomorrow, Bob. First game of the year. Are you kidding me, boss? Oh, my God. <laughs> he's yeah. going to be there tomorrow afternoon yeah. on campus. Yeah. I get to watch Portland State play this weekend. They play Arkansas. You know, I wonder if those, I wonder if those uh, baseball coaches there in Alabama plan that little visit duh they yeah. love this right they every bring, visit this this fall they, they bring, plan them for the home games they bring their prospects in on the duh. opening. yeah they're right. probably going to take them but they, what if they do i could see them taking them over there they're going to have access because right. they're you know that's being hilarious. that they're baseball that's yeah i get to see portland state this weekend you hear me yes they play the hoggies so well yeah hopefully arkansas that that's uh Wait, what do you predict in arkansas to go this year and that's what we're going to do next week's show. We're going to do predictions next week. We're going to do predictions. This week's everyone plays trash this week. But, yeah, we, we're going to do predictions next week. Three and nine. I need to look at the schedule more, but I, I'm thinking only five wins at max. I'm thinking <laughs> you just four. Keep, you keep ignoring me, man. I go, what do you, what do you predict for the Hogs? I'm, One and 11? Um, yeah. I'm, and 10, i got to look at the schedule first. Three and nine. I, I, and you just keep ignoring yeah. me, man. <laughs> I, I, and I said I'm thinking five wins at most, but I have to look at that schedule. Oh, uh, here's a good one. Oh, Here, I forgot about this. Uh, the, the other one that I, I was like, hey, speaking of Arkansas teams, guess who plays here in, at TCU this weekend? Uh, UAP, TCU? Like, UAPB. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> U- yeah. <laughs> exactly. UAPB, University of Arkansas, Pine Bluff, oh. plays TCU. I should go over I'm, there and watch the game. I'm kind, I have of, fu- the, I'm kind of funny this week. You, you're good to go. <laughs> we need more of this. We need more doc. We need more of the funny doc. But, yeah, no, TCU plays uh, UAPB this week. So, no, that's funny. U- University of Arkansas, Pine Bluff. Yeah, so that'll be a blowout. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the good, the big game, Oregon and Auburn here. That'll be that's at uh, six thirty over here at Jerry's World. LSU plays uh, Georgia Southern, Michigan. Other top ten team plays uh, Middle Tennessee. You know State. what team I actually want to watch and follow this year? Who's that? Kansas. Kansas, huh? Why is this? Who's the new head coach? Who is? I don't remember. Come on, Miles. Oh, that's right. Well, here you go. They play who is I in? I'm just curious to see what he does. You know, I Indy. They play Indiana State in their first game. You know, tomorrow. here's what here's what I like about this. Dude. I, I was never a big Miles fan yeah. at LSU, right? But I gotta hand it to him. He takes the Kansas job. Yeah, Kansas, Kansas. Uh, is, it, is it Kansas? Jayhawks? Yeah, the Jayhawks takes that job, right? I've always said, you know, Phil Jackson. Yeah. Right. Well, and I think Les had. To, I, I knew Les the, was going to have to take a. a, a you get my point, but yeah, Kansas. Yeah, he. Point being, he if, probably had to have offers. Out. You'd imagine why. I mean, but I to like take to, the, if he can take that program. Yeah, regardless, regardless, he took it. Even he if took that it. was his only offer. He took it. He took it. And they've been nowhere anywhere since that Mangino guy took him like to like had a like remember like ten years ago Kansas was good for a hot second and that was it. That was it. Two thousand eight or seven, I think it was. So if he can turn that program around. Wow. You, then you're like, okay, he's he, good. He's, he's a good. good he's a go. Arkansas. I said Arkansas needed to sign him as much as I would have loved to have him over. I think he would. Chad Morris. Good. I would have. I think he would have been a good fit at Arkansas. Tomorrow night, or I should say Sunday. That was tomorrow. So Sunday night, we got another pretty good one. Houston at Oklahoma. So there's another pretty good one. Ooh, to watch I like on. to see. I can't wait to see that. That'll man. be. But man, go back to your boy, Gardner. Get ready, bub. You're gonna have fun. I knew this has already happened by the time you heard this. <laughs> I hope you had fun. That is gonna be something. But then your guys. Back Monday, he'll get to watch with you a little father-son Notre Dame action. Notre Dame at Louisville. So they start out on the road. Number that's nine Notre Dame good. does. That's, good. that's a good, good, good game. little good tester, two for him. Uh, that's right. On the road. And what game are you going to? You said you're going up there. Or or you're not I guess you're not going to a game. He's just going up there for a visit. That's the yeah, he's going up there for baseball. Awesome. And so I, I don't know if Notre Dame's playing up there that next weekend or not, but 
Either way, he'll be on campus. Good slew of games, though. Right. Great weekend. I mean, it could have been. I think they. I wish they would have planned a couple other top twenty-five teams playing this weekend. They only have one top twenty-five matchup, literally, yeah. uh, with um, yeah. uh, Oregon and Auburn playing. But hey, it is what it is. You got to take it because that's what they always complain about. Where we're always, and that's what and they also want that. They don't want you playing them in week nine or ten. They want you playing studs then, not duds. <laughs> right. But that's why you kind of load the duds up early on. Almost get your preseason games right. in. Kind of get you warmed up for your season play. Right. Um, or if you do have one of those like. You know, Texas, like when we used to play Texas A&M when we were in a different league. Now, right. we, I forgot who Arkansas, but you get my point. I think we do. You, you know, we play Notre Dame. Arkansas? N- next year, we go, we play at Notre Dame next year. Ooh. 2020, we need to make a trip up there. I forgot to tell you. We play, they didn't do it back to back years. We play up there next year in 2025. They make a visit down to, to Fayetteville. Home, they do those home and home that, games. Right, right. So this year, and we have Michigan in there one of the years. Wow. Uh, maybe that's who we're replaced with Notre Dame. But point being, I know next year because uh, we were talking about me and my guys, my friends are already trying to make a trip up there. We need to make a rendezvous trip up there next year. Now, you year. know what would be cool for Arkansas to do? You know what they should do? Maybe, what? When they go to South Bend? What? They should bring back Lou Holtz. Yeah, they should do something for both teams. Uh, he's got to be there for that, for both teams playing each other. Wouldn't you think? They got to. That's, that I think awesome? that's the first time. It is. That's the first time. do the coin toss. That's the first time Arkansas has ever played at South Bend. Yeah. Lou first Holtz. time they've never played there, by the way. You know that, right? Right. I didn't know. I didn't know it was the yeah, first time. Every first time Arkansas you know ever what those, played there. You know what those boys are going to be doing when they walk on that campus in that stadium? Oh yeah. I mean, oh yeah. I, they're it, big time. Any 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 program, even if you're at Alabama, I'm sure most of those kids, unless they're a little stuck up, which I'm sure you know those hoity twenty ones are like, you know, I'm ready for the NFL. This ain't nothing type players, which some of them are. Let's be honest. Right. But um, yeah, most kids are going to walk into that stadium and see all the memorabilia, see all the old school nostalgia type stuff, and you're going to be like, this, this is, is classic. This is something big. Wrigley Field type stuff. Correct. You know what I mean? Or, That's yeah, right. Fenway. Yeah. Or yeah. this has been around yeah. the block. Yeah, they need to bring back. Lou Holtz out to do the coin. Got to. You can, something like that. Are you kidding me? All right. Oh, so you cool? led, them bo- led them both to the sugar, you know, big ass. I mean, are you kidding Wouldn't me? Led cool Notre Dame to championship, obviously. Yeah, having him stand on the 50 yard line yeah. with. With the two, you teams. know he's got hearts for both. I mean, right. big time. We've heard. I mean, I right. loved when he did the call it the you know the post game thing on ESPN right. there for a lot of years with uh, with Mark May. But Whatever yeah. happened to Mark May? They, they both of them. They just like ESPN. They just get rid of all that talent because they're paying them so much and bring in the dud talent and hardly paying. So them Mark anything. May, but he's not. doing He might be Big Ten. I don't know anywhere. He could be somewhere, but they got, I'm sure they got paid. Why? They did that for like ten years plus. They did that for a while. That show. They remember the. That was a great with him, and it got a little old after a while. I wish, but yeah, because I mean, do Ar- when Arkansas was good. Like, man, where's Arkansas at? Because you know they waste, they do like ten minutes on like no Alabama, whatever. I'm like, can we do? Can we get all the teams in here? Yeah, can right. Can we st- quit yeah. doing these stupid little gimmicky segments? Right. And that's why now they're done. I'm like, well, ESPN, you're the one making, you're the one creating this. If you just do what they should do, right. go through this up, maybe have a couple of those little segments, but just keep it short and simple. Not those ten. Like you have a whole segment where you could be going over teams and said you have ten minutes of them being goobers. Right. Like, well, here's what they do, and then Mark, you know what I mean? The Mark, I'm like. I'm sitting there at the TV like, okay, fast forward when I record it. Okay. Anyway, definitely, though, but point being, back to next year, dude, we got to keep that on lock. That may be – and also on lock, which I'm having on my reminders to look at in September, the second or third to last race of the year, guess where it's at? And it's going to be nice and cool enough for us to go, and we're going. Daytona. Here. <laughs> where we where have we talked about going here? It's the same thing. I'll, 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 I'm like I'm thinking Texas Motor Speedway is coming out of your mouth, and you go to Daytona. I'm like, yeah, let, okay. You paying Doc? That's cool. You paying the trip to Daytona? I'm all in, Doc. Let's go, boss. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm ready for Florida Round Two this year. Anyway, no over Texas Motor Speedway, and I think Daytona does close the year. They do go back to Daytona. I, I, well, it was a good guess. It was. It was great. Let's go. Well, you're paying okay. anyway. <laughs> But we got to go Texas Motor Speedway. We've got to a. Let's I try love to, that. We're going. All it's, right. it's, I've already have it on the, the schedule reminder in September uh, to bring it up. But it's like November third. I want to say the race is awesome. Got to, got to. We're gonna go do got that. To, got let's to. do that. Got to, got to. I'm on. I'm on. Anywho, in. now let's get on to finally the stud or dud segment. We could have brought this up earlier. Didn't have too much. Didn't feel like trying to search. There's plenty of stud or dud moments that happen everywhere. Definitely one of the bigger stories last week that I'm sure dropped a few draws, jaws, and definitely dropped mine. Speaking of which, being on the shark, uh, uh, the beach, no sharks this year again. No sharks. No shark attacks anywhere. Good. No jaws. No jaws. But speaking of dropping the jaws, when I saw this, I was like, "Wow, I know Andrew going. Luck is retiring." Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's shocking. I mean, especially after he came back last year, won NFL Comeback Player of the Year. Yeah. Uh, real quick, four-time Pro Bowler, NFL Comeback Player of the Year, led the NFL, which I forgot, in passing touchdowns in 2014, having his best year. 40 touchdown passes, 4,700 yards. That also broke Peyton Manning's 
Indiana's well, any, the Colts all t- you know their Colts mark, so that sets the record for all time passing yards in a season by a Colt. Does like to give away the ball though. He had 16 interceptions that year, 13 fumbles, six led to you know being lost. So he, he gave the ball up 23 times that or 22 times that year. It's yeah. a lot of that's a lot of turnovers. But it led him to 11 and five the first three years. So even that point being, I was like, okay, he's good. I know he's really good, but let's see what he. Do. He led him to 11 and five, and I knew that. But point being, back then I'm like, wow, he's he's pretty study. He's definitely a stud, but. Kind of, uh, yeah. What's the word? Um, kind of. I know the word. What? It's called disappointment. Okay. I was gonna say arrogant. I thought he just a little. Too, he thinks a little too much Which of himself. Which brings me to the other comment I want to make about this. You know, he got booed uh, leaving the field uh, after that preseason game. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. Right, and a lot of people, you know, you know, NFLers coming out going, you know, that's disgusting. Yeah. You know, I go, no, why? Why, Why is that yeah. disgusting? You know, booing is uh, booing is a way that a fan base expresses their disappointment. Yeah, their feelings for whatever. Right. Yeah. Just like applause yeah. is the way yeah. we, we right. express our yeah, approval. Like, yeah. Approval, our excitement, our happiness. I don't blame them for booing him. It was a disappointment. Yeah. It's not nothing against you personally. Well, lately, yeah. I mean, especially after last year, you come back and you're a disappointment. Yeah. It was a you disappointment. Kind of give us one year. It's almost like Tiger. And that's what I'm saying. Injuries. You get those injuries and they start coming. 2015 is when they started. Then he start, he misses a year here and so, there. So I, I would say to any athlete, you get booed, get over it. Yeah. Dude. Oh yeah, you're gonna get booed, dude. Get over it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yep. 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 Yeah, I'm right there with you. But you led him to ten and six last year and had his second best stat season. And then yeah, then this year the injuries kind of start pre. You know, they're starting to you know spike up. You know, come up out of nowhere again it seems like coming better nowhere they're obviously spawned from previous injuries but anyway done he's over with uh, i hate that he, and that but and i've looked this up so yes that contract is now it's like he forfeits it so obviously when they retire even though that guaranteed money it's not essentially guaranteed it becomes dead money they can't use it he doesn't get it so now he's for he forfeits a lot of money he forfeited like 50 67 i mean however a million he still made which is funny and just real quick remember another guy earlier this year that retired and didn't touch a drop of his money. You mentioned him earlier. Why he was in the fantasy draft, we didn't know. I guess in case he comes back. Oh, uh, Gronk. Gronk, yeah. They almost had to the exact million that they made in career earnings. Gronk was like 94.5. $97 million is what he made in his career. Short career. I mean, seven years, played six of it because he set one out. Here's what's crazy. Those signing bonuses, how big they are. And that's what – because, boom, as soon as you sign that year, you're, okay, boom, you're officially ours. 14 mil, 40, whatever it was. 14, imagine a 14 mil signing bonus. You're only going to make 14 mil that year, but you made 14 mil as soon as you you see what I'm saying, how crazy that is. Because here, an actual salary earnings, he only made thir- well, only made 38.9 mil. But in signing bonus earnings, he made 46.5. And then roster bonuses, like you made you you passed for 4,000 yards this year. You get 700. You get what I'm saying, those type of stuff, those things. An extra you know, 12 mil. It's funny you talk about the signing bonuses. We have a, a gentleman that studies here at the school who's a banker, and they had Troy Aikman's account when he came out of uh, UCLA and signed with the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, signing bonus was probably 100000 So they were all gathered around the computer screen with Aikman's yeah. account pulled up, and they had the TV on with Jerry Jones doing the whole thing. that They sign him. Mm-hmm. You know, he yep. signs the deal. And they said, you know, as soon as Troy Aikman signs, it's X number of millions – that he earns that goes right directly into his account. Right. And he said that they were all at the bank and they were like watching his account. His account had like eleven dollars and like ten cents in it. You know, his checking account. Yeah. Right? Not he's a surprised. college kid. Yeah. He's yeah. a college kid. Yeah, yeah. He had like eleven dollars yeah, and ten cents. Yeah. And they're watching it. And they said Jerry Jones signs the yeah. the agreement and they're watching it. And all of a sudden, ten million dollars. Oh, it was ten million. Or something wow. like that. Yeah. Some ridiculous yeah, exactly. number of oh, million. Yeah. Some ridiculous mi- in other words, the point was they watched his account go from eleven dollars yeah, and ten cents, like a million at least, a million going yeah. into going into his account. I mean, I Could you imagine? imagine? I can't. That's something like all those people that win the lotto. I can't imagine depositing that and seeing your average five hundred in there, a thousand there, whatever. Maybe some people they only have a hundred, two hundred in your checking account at that time. Yeah. And then it just and then it goes from a hundred to whatever to thirty three hundred seventy four million. I'm like, I'd just be. I mean, see, who knows? You wouldn't do that because you divvy it up and put it right. to whatever. But yeah, I couldn't even imagine. But even because you, yeah, even if you just like, okay, yeah, let's just put five million, you know, because you win say three hundred million, like yeah, let's just put five million. Yeah, I can't imagine just you're checking out going zoom, and going. Is that wow? Is that for real? I can literally just go anywhere yeah. right now and buy well, anything I and want. I think that's why I think the funniest thing was he said he had like eleven dollars yeah. and ten cents. Nuts. And like, I can't even. <laughs> hey, 
the stories of getting rich have got to be nice. See, that's unfair, man. Uh, well, that's unfair. Uh, hey, it's, that's unfair, man. It's sad how fast a lot of those guys go. That's unfair. And they they burn it. Like you and I need that. Uh, we, we, we'll should get the sa- we should We're gonna get the those same. signing bonuses we one day. Be, yes, well, at least maybe even a hundred thousand. Why know? should he make more money than us? It's not fair, is it? It's, it's not, not equal. Fair. It's not equal. It is not equal. Not it's equal not pay. Equal. All right. So stutter dud. <laughs> a first off is Andrew Luck a stutter a dud? I, I think I actually think he's a, a stud. I think I, I like. Look, the fans booed him because they're disappointed in his career. I think his career was a disappointment. Yeah. It didn't live up to the hype. But I also think he's a stud. Look, man. Look, what he, look at those numbers he put up. Look, 11-5, you, you, a lot you, of playoff you, appearances. When you did play, you played well. And I think you're a stud for walking, being able to walk away from the money with concern. That too. With your concern over your health yep. and your livelihood for you, your family, for your future. Yeah. I, I, Knowing he could probably, uh, if he wants to, get the next thing you'll know, get into commentary. Yeah, I applaud him for that. I'm not a big Andrew Luck fan, but I think he's a stud. Definitely a stud. Same here. Uh, stud, stud, super stud. I wouldn't go super stud, but definitely a stud. Look yeah. at those numbers he put up. Comes in right after Peyton Manning and all that controversy. Imagine being that. And they go, hey, Peyton Manning, thanks for everything you've done and winning the Super Bowl and all, but... Yeah, right. And then you were the person that you were the person that essentially was a part of that. You, you were, and you have to now take over and you go 11-5 your first three years. Yeah, right. Yeah, and oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. I was like, he didn't win Rookie of the Year. Who did? You're the quarterback that year, or at least for the RG3. Wow. There were like three quarterbacks RG3 that year. RG3 won Rookie, Rookie of the year. year over Andrew, Andrew Luck. Luck. Yeah, when you look at their numbers, it was that. I think the main reason why wow. well, RG3 just had more memorable plays and taken to the playoffs, and I don't know why that mattered, but yeah, he that won. Just seemed, seemed, yeah, it wow. was a close call, but yeah, RG3 won wow. it. I forgot about that. But yeah, here's the next question then. Hall of Fame worthy. Andrew Luck? Yeah. No. I say no, too. But no. here's the only reason, reason I asked that. Terrell Davis just got in. Obviously love it. But here's what Terrell Davis has. An, a league MVP. Rushed for 2,000 yards, which, oh, by the way, like five people have done. Won a Super Bowl MVP. And a part of that was in back-to-back Super Bowl wins. Yeah. So you have back-to-back Super Bowl wins, Super Bowl MVP, a league MVP, and you have a 2,000-yard well, well, season. That's a different resume. It is kind of. It's the same length. Yeah, but Same numbers that, but, essentially, but, but, but you a, have that you have those five it, things on that yeah, he doesn't that, have. Yeah, no, that's a different resume. It is, isn't it? That's, that's my point. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a different. That's resume. why I just want to bring that up because it's like, yeah, and I'm sure a lot of Colts are like, oh, he's def- he didn't no, win anything. No. If he won a Super Bowl, if he won one Super Bowl, he's in. Yeah, if yeah, if he and that's what's sad. I'm not sad because yeah, you were the leader of the team, so it is kind of it shows. Hey, if you would have kept going, he could have let him. But you won one Super Bowl, and that seven seasons, he's in. Right. He didn't win one. Or maybe he wins a league MVP or a couple. What Didn't even win one of those. Yeah. Did, does something that only like three or four people have ever done, five people now or six have ever done, didn't do that. You see what I'm – my point, I love TD, but I was just bringing those things because, yeah, he, he those were the big benefactors. Like, hey, wasn't that he put up numbers and, and literally in, in TD's first four years, he has the most – one of the most like top three ever in rushing yards. You, you add the first four seasons, his TDs and rushing yards are in the top four or five ever. Yeah. Then you add in those Super Bowl MVP. Went to back to back and won two, two Super Bowls in a row, and yeah. was the reason why John Elway. That's another that was probably in their heads. Oh yeah, if John Elway probably never would have won one if OTD doesn't ever come along. Right. So anyway, so I was just kind of throwing that out there because yeah. there's other guys with short resumes, but they usually have one of the. They have something a Super Bowl and they have something added to that MVP season. You have one of those things. Well, let me ask you this: Is Barry Sanders in the Hall of Fame? Yeah, oh yeah. Well, Barry Sanders, you know, he didn't win any Super Bowl no, or anything, but he did it for a longer time. I think he did it for a longer time, and those numbers were impressive yeah and also too because that's the thing you're like you look and go the detroit lions because yeah. you saw those runs and you're like that's the thing too you know it's just unfortunately you, you could just look at basic numbers and go well those are good numbers yeah we should probably but then you, that's the thing unfortunately because you have the human aspect because you watch the games and you saw him here's a line of scrimmage and he's having to do this because he's not getting blocked and then he's fine or you know what i'm saying that guy was amazing in fact i've always said the best thing that ever happened to uh uh, uh elliot uh, zeke Z- uh, not zeke um Who's the running back for the Cowboys, man? Uh, Ezekiel Elliott. No, the guy. The, Emmitt Smith. Emmitt Smith. Best thing that ever happened to Emmitt Smith was Barry Sanders oh, retired. Yeah. Because if Barry Sanders didn't retire. Oh, he's breaking that record. He, he would not. Because he be, wasn't the injury prone. He was like he, Emmitt. He, he, those were two running backs somehow in the yeah. 90s that A, were badass studs, Emmett, but they never got injured somehow. Because Emmitt wouldn't have the NFL rushing record. And it, imagine how hardcore the NFL was much more back then, and neither one of them ever got a significant injury. Yeah, and just right. kept. Yeah. 
That's yeah. nuts. Yeah. Because nowadays, and that's what they say, and that's my dad brought this up, speaking to your boy down there. And when we're, he's like, Emmett Smith's record will never be broken. If we continue on the path we are now, we're running backs who yeah. they barely play, right. and they can only play four, five, six years anyway, and they're all, next thing you know, they're going, they're done with because they want the next running back. Disposable running backs. There's no, there's no way no one's going to play 15 years and be able to do that for 15 years in a row. Good point. No way. Good point. No way. And I'm like, you're, you're right. The world, we're moving to a passing league A. I don't know. I know it can revert back at some point in time because things do evolve back. You know, circle. We talked about that earlier. Things circle back around. So I could see it getting back to a running league again. But are we ever going to, as the safety protocol, blah, 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 are we ever going to have a running back that lasts 15 years A and then be that consistent for 15 years and be a starter for 15 years? Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, I was like, damn, you're, you're right. Like, the league we're moving toward, that will probably never get broken. Correct. Crazy to think. Correct. But yes, yeah, not Hall of Fame worthy because he doesn't have the credentials. But on next week's show, let's get to it. Got to get our predictions. Football season started. We could have talked about it today. We had the draft and said, hopefully everyone enjoyed the fantasy draft. But next week, we've got to get our predictions on, hey, what teams we'll do. We'll bring up a couple different teams, what your Notre Dame will do, what my Hogs will do. Then we got to predict the national champion, who we think we see in the Final Four, because it is a Final Four. And we may have a great guest next week. Ooh, well, he, so he I'm can. Not, I'm, not whoever, even, I'm not even letting you in That's on. fine, but if so, they can partake uh, in that. Uh, yes. Certainly so. And then we'll recap on, obviously, week one of college football. And guess what starts up next? Thursday. The pros, baby. Oh, my favorite, the NFL. I love college football. Most people love it more than NFL, but NFL was where my heart's at. I love the pros. So, man, I I can't be more. My two favorite sports are starting college football and the NFL. So you're like with football like I am with baseball. Exactly. Man. I'm in heaven now. Yeah, you're in heaven now. I'm and now going, the fall I, season's I'm coming. Go, I'm go, I'm the go, cool go. season's coming. I'm not sweating all the time. I'm going like, okay, yeah, whatever. I can cook chili. I can cook red beans and rice. I can cook so many things I can't have in the summer That's and good enjoy point. it. That's a good point. Oh, Wings. I don't want wings when it's 100 degrees out. Are you kidding me, Bach? Bach. I'm, I'm getting so excited. Called you Bach, not Doc. Bach? I'll take Bach. Johann <laughs> yeah. Sebastian Bach? That's, yeah, Thank right. Thank you, man. Well, that, uh, that sounds almost like a Star Wars character. <laughs> yeah. Watch out for Bach over there, or Star, or Star Trek. Either way, he will mess you up. All right, well, all that and much more next week. Maybe have a guest. Cannot wait. Uh, don't forget to subscribe iTunes, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify, Spotify. Uh, uh, SoundCloud, I just say that Spotify. Oh, that's right. I, I do have them on there. I'm just repeating them again. Yeah, you're, you're like. <laughs> For repeating myself. I'm just excited about football. I got I pumped guess, up. Man, golly. But anyway, next week that does start. We'll have the big slew of games, then Monday Night Football, the double. Well, obviously, Monday Night. This week's Notre Dame. Notre then Dame. Monday after that, guess who plays on Monday Night Football? The Cowboys? Broncos. Ooh. So I get my team on Monday Night Football. Who do they play? Who do they play in the first game? Yeah. I don't even know. I think oh, the Chargers. Chargers, my bad. Chargers, yeah. Chargers. Broncos, Chargers. I can't. Uh, see, now I'm not. I'm not there yet. I got some yard work I got to do. So. Right, exactly. I do too before that comes. <laughs> Today. Because tomorrow's, be, tomorrow's college football let, let kickoff know, for me. So yeah. tomorrow I'm watching college football let, all day long, and let, then I'll be in the slew for NFL me, yeah, after that. Let me know how it goes. I'm going to be trimming my hedges. I'll let, oh, wow. You're not going to watch any college football tomorrow. No, college football. I'm talking about the Broncos and the oh, Chargers. No. That's be, a Monday I'll, night game. So I'll, Monday I'll, night, you're going to be outside. Yeah. 8 o'clock, <laughs> Doc's out there. All right, thank you all. With, with my shorts and my black socks. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to be in, in your Under Armour shoes that you always wear. Under Armour shoes. All right, all right. Thank you all for listening. Until next week, I'm Josh Smith. I'm Bob Lawrence. Peace.